Twisted Christian, I told you guys that uh, I would be posting Chrissy 365's take on the coming financial crash, global reset, and about being scared about it or, you know, your emotions and everything else. It's pretty good. Listen to it. You know, if you listen to my last video, I discuss it as well. Uh, but don't forget to subscribe to Currency365 and also to all the Twisted Christian support links are below. Um, I will be getting more involved on the Facebook uh, page. I don't, I don't use Facebook a lot and I'm trying to organize all the social media thing uh, with everything that's going on and trying to respond try to do the patreon and try to respond to everybody's questions and email and everything else but that's going to be very active coming up here within the next week so here's currency 365's take on the global financial crash on the global reset uh, take a listen twist your christian out Welcome back to Currency 365. Okay, so we're going to talk about in the fear that people have in this financial crash, this financial reset, um, this, this financial wealth transfer. Um, we call it the global reset, you know, and inside that global reset will be a currency reset, right? And... Um, We've been talking about that for years now, and uh, it kicked up it kicked it kicked up steam when the Chinese yuan entered the FDR baskets a couple of years back, um, and so we've been following this thing for a while. But people are people are very nervous. People are people have fear um, because of the crash. You know, this thing's going to the, the the system is going to reset itself, and so people are scared. They're scared. Um, of their jobs, you know, they're scared of their uh, banks, the, you know, the, the bank accounts that they have, and maybe their banks are going to be wiped to zero. Um, they're scared of that. They're scared of bank shutdowns. They're scared of, um, of the dollar, the dollar dropping, you know, maybe 20, 30, 40 uh, percent, well, you know, the things that they've heard out there in, in the uh, Internet, you know, that the dollar is going to drop. Uh, significantly in the in this financial crash reset and um, even the new elites have told Benny that they they pl they expect the dollar to plunge um, you know about 30 percent or something like that you know what I mean at some point um, so yeah there's a lot of fear right and uh, and I, you know for me personally man I don't get into fear I don't I don't I used to fear I used to fear a lot when I was a younger you know and just like a kid I, I used to fear and, then, and most of my fear was like the stupid stuff right and that's what happens when you're a kid you always you fear you just everything's about fear you know what I mean you're just fearing this you're fearing that and it's like where does that come from you know is that that's got to be uh genetics it's got to be in your genes it's got to be it's got to be uh from your ancestors or something and the way that they feared um you know what I mean and everybody has different types of fear different levels of fear but I started as I grew, finally grew older and older you know I used to fear about life I used to fear about eternity and because eternity is forever and, and it's like when is that when does that end you know and uh so I and I still think about that uh, all the time, you know, like uh, eternity, like when does that end? It doesn't end. Right. And so it, that's that that's, you know, I, I think about it, but I don't I don't want to I don't fear that any longer. I just accept it. I'm like, OK, that's what it is. So and the reason why is because you get to a point where you you're, you're analyzing it. Once you start analyzing things. Once you start researching things, once you start preparing for things, right, the fear starts to go away, right? The fear starts to decline and decline and decline. Once you know, once you know what, uh, you know, the, the weaknesses of your fear, 
the weaknesses of your opponent. You know what I mean? It starts, you, you know, all that anxiety and fear and all that stuff, it starts to go away. It starts to dwindle. It might not go completely away, but it starts to dwindle, right? Just like a boxer knowing his opponent, right? The more he knows the, his opponent's weakness, the more confidence he has. And so in this time of this of this uh, global reset that we're in now, and we're waiting for this financial crash to happen, which is going to give us the wealth transfer and the reset of the global markets, right, uh, and also uh, trigger the reset of currencies. And while we're waiting on this, right, uh, this is your time to study. This is your time to study the history of, of resets. This is your time to study, um, you know, financials, economy, how Wall Street uh, works, you know, and, you know, like this is your time to study, right? And while we're in this pause moment right now, this is your time to analyze. It's your time to study. And, and you know, and so what we, what I've done is, you know, I've put out scenarios on how I would edu uh, execute my banking, um, you know, uh, exchanges. Uh, I've put out stuff about deceptions. I went back in the history and I was doing, uh, you know, tell talking to you guys about the history of, of the dinar in Iraq and, and all the things that have happened, how I'm going, how I plan on exchanging, uh, some of the things that I'm looking at, um, talk to you guys about the deceptions and how the IMF and all these things uh, got involved to deceive and and then Benny just did his announcement on Zimbabwe and him and Karen were talking about how the Zimbabwe you know could have been in the deception as well they don't know you know they're Benny's going to be waiting on a sign um you know for a signal for you know which way he should go on that and that's on that's fine I already I already did my rant about that uh <laughs> okay and so but um and then you had Twister Christian come out and, and he gave us step one, step two, step three, step four, step five of, of how uh, that he's going to be doing things after the RV, right? And so we're putting these pieces together and so so that should calm people down and remove the anxiety and the fear and things like that. And so you guys got to do your own research as well. And the more you research, the more confidence you're going to be, right? The more things you learn, the more confidence confidence you're going to be. Confidence doesn't come overnight. Confidence doesn't come by not knowing. Confidence comes by researching, studying, and knowing, right? People are confident because they know they're going to ace the test, right? So you wake up in the morning for school and you didn't study, you're not going to be that confident that you're going to pass the test. But if you had studied, you know, and you and you study all the things that are required for the test, you are you go in there with a smile on your face and you're confident and, you know, you, you're standing up straight, you know, and you're like, man, let's get on with the test. It's the same thing in, in, in life and financials and stuff. If you know what you're, you know, what's coming and if you and if you're studying it and analyzing it, the fear will go away. OK, and so that's what I'm trying to talk about in this video is that you many of you people have anxiety and fear about the financial crash, the financial wealth transfer, financial reset. And that's probably because you haven't you're not studying um, you know, the banks, you're not studying your exchanges, you're not studying your the investments that you're in, you're not studying how to prevent yourself from, from um, losing money in your 401k uh, pension. You're just allowing that stuff to happen. Like you're just going to say, like some of you guys have, have literally just stepped back and said, if my 401k goes to zero, it goes to zero. That's what some of you guys mentally have said. Instead of stepping up, doing the research, analyzing things, and saying, no, I'm not going to let my, my 401k go to zero in this financial crash. I'm not going to let my pension account go to zero. I'm actually going to fight back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight back with wisdom. I'm going to research what I can do to protect myself and, and protect my uh, pensions. 
protect my 401ks, right? And so, you know, I brought I brought the four stocks to Patreon, right? That was, and, and those four stocks were, have always been on Patreon. Well, three of them, because the one of them was new. So before, back in 2015, I believe, when I, 14 or 15 is when I introduced the, the three stocks on Patreon. And then I added a fourth one for this time. It's always been on Patreon, right? So um, for some people like, man, you know, why is it always on Patreon? It's on Patreon, because that's where it's always been, right? <laughs> Even back then, right? Um, but anyway, maybe I did some stuff on YouTube about it. I don't remember. I don't remember. I've done thousands and thousands and thousands of videos. I've literally done 10,000 plus videos on YouTube, right? <laughs> like, like I got like, I, right now I post on four channels. I'm not going to, you know, I post on four channels right now. And, uh, you know, I don't even post, I don't even post on my main, on the, on the, on the channel that I actually started the YouTube, my YouTube uh, channels with, right? I don't even post, and that one's called Currency 365 Vlogs, right? I believe that's one, that's what that's called. And I don't even post on that one, but I post on the other ones that I created out of that vlog, out of, out of that channel. Um, so it's just a lot, it's a lot of work. So there's a lot of videos, a lot of things going on. And so I can't remember, but, um, but yeah, but, you know, if you guys have pensions accounts and 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 four hundred one ks and and you're nervous about losing that type of money, then then you start doing research. Research, um, you know how to save your investments, how to protect your investment, you know how to put them in in places where the, it doesn't go down if the markets crash or or it actually goes up when the markets if the markets crash uh, in the financial reset, right? And so we we know that the elites told Benny that um, the new elites told Benny that they 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 are looking for you know. 20,000 Dow in September. We're, we're going to find out if that happens or not because we're all going to, hopefully we're all here, right? You know, as September comes and goes, we'll see if that actually did happen in September. They also told him that they, they plan, you know, right now their plan is to get this, uh, you know, the, the revaluation of Racket Dinar in September completed. But that doesn't mean that they will do it, right? But that's that's their plan, and you know we'll see if that happens. They, they you know, they're, they're we're all watching the trade deal between China and, and and Trump, and we're studying it and we're analyzing it as well, right? And so that's where you remove the fear. You know, you remove the fear by studying. You know, study your bank. You study your bank. Study, you know, study if your bank is even healthy. Some of you guys are are part of banks that are literally on the verge of collapsing. <laughs> and you don't even know it because you don't study your banks. You know, you, you're not studying the numbers. What were they what was their quarterly numbers this time? Was there was it red again? Did they did they cut fifty thousand jobs this again this month or this this quarter? Like you guys are not studying that stuff, so you don't know. So because you don't know and because you got blinders on, it's it's a fearful life. It's a fearful life of your of all your assets and investments and your trust and your IRAs and your four oh one K. It's a complete mess. Right. Because you don't know, because you refuse to study and you refuse to analyze. So in this time period that we're in right now, where it's kind of quiet, there is some tension in the Middle East. We get that. But uh, but right now it's still quiet. Right. There isn't no financial crash yet. OK. Deutsche Bank is still, you know, operating, right? <laughs> and, and, and the derivative bubble hasn't burst yet. The housing market bubble hasn't burst yet. These things, the dollar hasn't crashed yet, right? These things haven't happened. So study up, you know what I mean? Study up, analyze these things, analyze the investments you're in and all the things that are going on. And uh, let me see, somebody says here, okay, that's the telegram, never mind. Okay. So uh, Telegram group is our Currency 365 crew, if you guys are want to come into the Telegram group. All right. But anyways, analyze things. Analyze things. Go go back. Look at the videos about the reset. You know, go go through videos of the reset. Go through videos of glo the global financial reset, the economic reset. Go through videos of gold. Go through videos of silver and platinum and, and um, you know, and, and analyze those things. You know, understand that. Uh, 
uh, research where you can get those things and in the you know the top companies of these things right analyze your 401k your pension some of you guys have pensions and 401ks from from uh, companies uh, that you work for and you haven't even talked to the like the financial advisor at your job or the person who put that together you have no clue like what what you're even investing in like it's ridiculous right like you or maybe you forgot what you're even investing in they might have put your stuff in random stuff that you don't even know about right so go in and and say hey you know tell your manager tell your supervisor or if you're a supervisor or manager say you know tell your boss hey look i'm gonna i need to go in and set an appointment with the person that runs the uh, 401k or the pension and i need to look at what and study what i'm even invested in right and then if you need to make changes to protect yourself then make changes right and so th those are the things that you have to do to remove the fear right remove the fear go you know some of you guys don't even go into the bank any longer you just call right and so you you have a fear of exchanging because you don't want to make a mistake go into the bank and 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 uh and you know maybe 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 buy some you know you, you can do test runs some of you guys have currencies now like you know some a vietnamese dong or whatever and if they if they do exchanges on some of those currencies you can go in there and do just normal test runs right you can do test runs with small little notes of, of, of foreign currencies that your bank accepts and then to see how they exchange it i know the iqd is going to be different because it, it, it was the one that literally the cabal was literally refusing to revalue but and the other ones aren't right so it might it will be different and there's a lot of people trying to you know trying to steal the money and steal the exchange and are very upset that this is going to happen and the people are going to receive their wealth uh transfer we get that but you know, be comfortable with the banks, right? Be comfortable with your banks. Be comfortable with your local banks. Be comfortable with your uh, what's in that. What are you investing in your pension accounts, your four hundred one k accounts? Be you know, learn about the reset. Learn about the financial reset. Go back and and learn about the uh, the the uh, the depression and the crash. Uh, you know, was it nineteen thirty two or whatever it was? You know, like go back and and do your history. A lot of you guys don't even know your history. Like a lot of you people don't know their history of, of the American history. You, you know, you just literally don't care, and so that brings a lot. That that can bring anxiety and fear as well. Because if you don't know your history, then you're bound to repeat it in your future or your present, right? And so if you understand your history and you know what happened and you see, and, and maybe you even study people that actually were successful in those time periods, right? Because a lot of people were successful in the, in the Great Depression, right? A lot of people became billionaires and millionaires in the Great Depression, right? And so you can study those types of people, right? Research how people became millionaires in the Great Depression, right? And study them and see how and what did they do, right? And maybe you can take those types of those types of things that they did and implement it for when, you know, when this thing happens for you this time. Right? Um and, and so that yeah. And uh and I think a lot of people are nervous as well and and and, and scared and nervous is because family. Family members are also without money. And so it's like you're looking around like, man, the financial crash, if this thing has, if we get a financial crash like these people are saying, my family members don't have any money. What's going to happen to them, right? And so you're like, man, I can't, I can't be the breadwinner. I, I, I can't support everybody, right? And so some of you guys are stressing out about that as well. Um, and so, you know, T, uh, Twister Christian said something uh, the other day. He said that um, in one of those uh, part, I think it was part five video that I did yesterday. He said once he once he just sat down and talked to his family members about and friends about their art, the uh, dinar and and go and 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 took them to look at the uh, took them back to look at the prophetic words on the dinar. It was a really a uh, it, it, it removed the stress and the pressure off of him. Uh, you know, to be that guy that now has to, you know, like do everything for his families and friends, right? Because he's already shown them the prophetic words of it. He also showed them the history of it. He also educated them on that investment. And so now it's up to them, right? And so that's what that's what you can do as well. If you're having stress over your family members and friends, um, and what's going to happen to them? Because 
you know, I, I get it. Foot forward says, you know, it's a wealth transfer. It is a wealth transfer. And I've been saying it's a wealth transfer as well. That doesn't mean people, millions of people are not going to suffer in this and be devastated because they are. Okay. This just because something is a wealth transfer doesn't mean that people won't be devastated. Okay. Doesn't mean that people won't lose their jobs. Doesn't mean that people are going, are, are just, are just going to probably lose their minds because the market is crashing. Things are crashing, right? And uh, it's going to be devastating, but it's going to it's going to bring everybody closer to God. It's going to bring everybody back into prayer. It's going to bring everybody back into repentance, right? And so this is what happened in the, in the, in the depression, right? It had, when, when the market, this is what happened in 9-11. Remember 9-11? For you guys that are like everybody should remember 9-11, right? Unless you're like 17 years, like you're 17 years old or 16 years old listening to me. I don't know, right? But um, everybody should remember 9-11, right? Um, and, uh, you know, maybe you were a kid and, and uh, you know, and you remember how you felt, but it brought everybody closer to God. You know, it brought everybody back into prayer. It brought everybody back into repentance, right? Because, you know, life was so fragile, right? And we saw things. Now, of course, we, we you know, 9-11 is 9-11. We, there's, there's conspiracies on there. There's a whole bunch of things on there now. But back, but I'm talking about when that thing happened, right? Uh, it brought everybody, it brought America to its knees for a short period of time, right? And to, to repent and, and to get back to to know what what means the most to people, right? Families, friends, God, your country. It made people love again. And that's what this one is going to do. This one is going to do the same thing. It's just going to be a repeat of history. And this financial crash, right? Because 9-11 brought a financial crash because as soon as 9-11 happened, the Wall Street and everything crashed, right? And everything, the airports were stopped and all types of stuff. More, you know, economy crashed. Right. And then it was brought back up again. Right. And so that's what's going to happen this time. So I'm back. Um, I had to uh, I had some food delivered. So anyways, let's wrap this up. Um, so if you're if you're going through, um, you know, you're stressing out about the financial stuff that's coming. If you're stressed out about the global reset, a uh, currency reset, um, you know, you stress out about all these things in your 401k pensions account, go and start doing research research and analyze the different topics go back in history look at history and how history repeats itself and it will start to comfort you because you'll start to understand that okay i understand that this thing these cycles happen right um you know cycles happen in life that's just what what life is is a big cycle where history repeats itself and so you know what i mean so there's nothing new under the sun as you know as uh some people say so you know so when you know that then you're able to then start to um you know analyze things analyze things and, and put things in sections put your bank over here okay i gotta i gotta know my bank i gotta know uh you know the checking accounts savings accounts i gotta know what type of stuff they have i gotta know if they're profitable i gotta know if they're if they're making money are they laying people off are they are they are they thriving you know what i mean like make sure you understand like stuff just little things like that so that you're not putting all you know once you're exchanging you're not putting tons and tons of money into a bank that's failing right and you don't even know it right um and, and just learn gold learn silver learn you know where you know the places to buy it and uh you know and if you're on patreon and you have the four stocks educate yourself on the four stocks learn about them you know what i mean like like just don't run and buy them learn about it educate yourself about them learn the history of them you know uh look at the charts and and see when when's a good time to buy for you when's a when's a bad time to buy right um there's so many things that you can do but right now is the time to analyze and research right um you know you know write down take notes when when we you know uh, I, when we do the uh part one two and three and four and five the videos that have already came out all those videos have come out right you, you should have been taking notes right um benny revealed his uh currency list you know i've given you my currency list uh twisted christian is giving you his i'm pretty sure mr brondo and others have given theirs right you just you know whatever you do you just write them down take notes and uh and then and then see which ones fit you not everything's gonna fit you not everything's gonna be b for you right not any currency that you're not gonna want every currency you're not gonna want everything that we say 
right? We're just putting information out there, right? And so then you have to then go and do it, you know, yourself. Research yourself, what's comfortable for you, and uh, and then go and then go ex execute it, right? But learning and analyzing and research are going to help you to reduce all of that tension and, and, and all that fear that you have about the dollar crashing or whatever the case may be. The dollar is going to be fine for at least, you know, I, you know, for me personally, I see the Fed dollar going down 30%. And I've been, you know, I think I've been on the record saying that for a while now, right? I still, I think that the Fed dollar is going to go down 30%, right? Right. And then from there, it's just going to it's going to continue to devalue from there, small, small devaluations, but until it phases itself out. Because if we're going gold back, then Donald Trump needs to bring out a gold back dollar, right? Or some type of gold back currency, right? Uh, maybe he doesn't choose the dollar. Maybe it's a gold back something else. Maybe it's a gold back U.S. Uh, uh, crypto currency. You know what I mean? Like. Who knows what it's going to be, I, you know, but I have a feeling it's going to be gold, <laughs> right? And so, and so who knows, but the Fed dollar, I believe the Fed dollar will devalue 30% at least, and then it will devalue, continue to devalue as people don't no longer use it and they set and they bring it back to America and it fades itself out. And, but, and, and, and maybe Donald Trump does actually eliminate the feds and remove the feds and we have an actual currency that america owns okay and so and that should be a gold back currency whatever whatever that is i'm hoping it's a gold back dollar that we can actually hold and feel right but it might not be who knows it might be a gold back cryptocurrency i don't know okay so but either way I, I think that's what's going to happen i think i think that the the fed dollar that we hold now which is a debt it's going to go away because it's going to, it's going to devalue number one and then fade away. Why? Because we're, we're in a reset and we're resetting debt. So if you're carrying a, something that is a debt, it, that can't be if we're resetting debt right to zero again, right? If we're resetting debt to zero, then the Fed dollar has to go away, right? <laughs> because it's a debt. And so it's not actual money. It's a debt, right? So that's kind of obvious right uh, i don't think people even thought about it that way like if we're going to reset everything to zero debt to zero because debt has gone debt has really literally gone to like i don't even know how much debt the world owes like 250 trillion dollars and uh, the world owes i don't even know who the world owes like we owe ourselves you know what i mean like like it's ridiculous right and so the debt has gone balloon has gone up so much that that it's time to bust the bubble of debt and remove that debt system right and so if the fed dollar is a debt right and then it needs to be gone right and so the a go back dollar needs to be introduced or a go back crypto or digital dollar or whatever donald trump has plans needs to be introduced okay and so that could be september <laughs> by the way right it could be september it could be october um it could be soon especially if they're going to try to get this trade deal uh with china done um here as well so it, it could be soon so let's just watch and see how it plays out um coming these next eight weeks to you know next you know september october november december january february march april that's my timeline between now and april 30th is my timeline to see absolutely first of all craziness right number two um just absolutely prophetic things complete you know we we have we've seen prophetic things but we haven't seen them complete and so i want to see i want to see absolute craziness i want to see absolute crisis i want to see absolute climax and i want to see absolute wealth and in, in that time in this time period that's coming up and uh hopefully you do too but there's nothing to fear because you're you're preparing you have already prepared yourself you have all the information you have all the investments you need you you have the right currencies you know like you have everything just you know get ready and uh and while we're going through this just smile because you're going to be 
you should be. I'm going to say that because some of you guys do, don't have anything. But <laughs> and you're just listening and listening and listening and you're not taking action. You know, three ways to get wealth, right? Action, mindset, and investing. Okay, if you don't do those three things, you're not going to be wealthy, right? So, and you or if you if you strike, you maybe you did invest in something and you became rich. Well, if you don't have the other two things, you're going you're going to go right back to where you came from. Okay, so you must have the mindset, you must take action, and you must be an investor, right? And so, anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys there. I gotta go eat my food.